Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a special surprise for you guys. I actually had my little sister here with me on my channel and today since she is actually going to prom this year, which I'm so happy about, she's graduating high school, <laughs> um, she actually wanted to come on my channel next year. Actually, I begged her to come on my channel, <laughs> technically. And I said, why not come on my channel and let's do a prom makeup tutorial. And the twist that I had for this video is that, you know, everyone like has people come on the channel and they do their own makeup for them. But I wanted to do something different. I wanted to come on my channel and have my sister do her makeup with me and actually show you guys how easy and affordable all this makeup is and how easy you guys can just do this makeup because I wanted to show you guys out there that cannot afford makeup artists or just um, can't afford to get a, a lot of the expensive makeup out there you guys can definitely use drugstore products and don't even have to um, hire a makeup artist for you guys to look sickening and glamorous doing it obviously so um, if you guys do want to know how to create these wonderful gorgeous makeup looks and how my sister does applying her own makeup which she doesn't use makeup at all on a daily basis all you pretty much do is what mascara, mascara. she literally just uses mascara and calls it a day so this is her first time doing her full glam makeup and honestly I was very surprised <laughs> you did good there you go girl but um if you guys want to know how to achieve this look, everything that I use is going to be listed in the description box below. And obviously, I would love and appreciate it if you guys give a thumbs up to this video because I would just love it so much. And obviously, if you guys haven't already, please click the subscribe button right there, right on the corner. So you guys can um, watch my newest and latest videos that I do just for you guys each and every week. So let's get straight into the tutorial, you guys. Mwah. Um, you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is get our primer, which is gonna be great to use because we want our makeup to stay on all night, especially for prom, because you're gonna be dancing, you're gonna be having fun, you're gonna be laughing, taking pictures, and you definitely want a good primer. So the first thing we're gonna take is the Wet n Wild Face Primer. We are going to place that primarily where we get oily or we have a lot of texture to our skin. So we're just gonna blend that out. We are now gonna get our foundation. I am using the True Match L'Oreal in the, <laughs> the, the match of sand beige. In sand beige. And then I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, which is my Holy Grail foundation because I'm so oily. And we're just going to put some of that on our beauty blender. We are now just going to place that on our face. Just make anywhere everywhere that you want coverage. I don't know how to do this. You're blocking your face from everywhere. <laughs> Is this your first time using using a beauty blender? Yeah. A rule to actually blending in your foundation, never swipe. Oh. And never swipe or smudge your foundation. Always like dab it. And when blending out your foundation, you definitely don't want to just stop at your chin or your little neck area. You definitely want to go all the way down. So when we're done doing our foundation, we're going to start with concealer. You know what? I never use this concealer, which I'm kind of excited using, but I've heard many great things about it, especially being a drugstore concealer. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer, and we are going to see how this is. And this is in the color 190 I'm Nude. A little bit goes a long way, so just kind of like, you know. So underneath your eyes. Mm-hmm. On your, on your forehead, down your nose, on top of your lip, on your chin, on the sides of your mouth, and around, on the sides of your nose. Take our beauty blender again, and we are just going to blend that out. So just dab, make sure that's nice and blended. Let me see. See? Yeah, a little bit. You see what I'm saying? I get so it So just now. keep on like blending it out until it's nice and blended out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. Next, we are going to take our setting powder, CoverGirl's um, Loose Powder in um, Translucent Medium. We just want to use a powder because we want everything to be set and locked into our face. We 
definitely don't want this foundation and concealer to be sliding off our faces by the end of the night. Place it right where we put our concealer. And then you could just put it everywhere else on your face just to kind of set everything. This is another product I haven't used before. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Let me take this color right here, which is our contour shade. And we're just gonna take it all the way down our cheekbone to make our cheekbones pop. And by doing that, we're just gonna go from the top of the ear and just flicker out. I like the you, contour. You're liking the contour, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Since I have a big forehead, I'm going to contour my temples to kind of make my forehead a little bit smaller. How I contour my forehead, I just go for my temples and I just kind of swipe down. And then if you if you ladies out there that have, you know, the extra double chin like I do because I have like a, a little bit of the double chin action going on. So I like to kind of contour that. So I like to just go on my jawline and just kind of clean that up and just making me have more of a jawline. If you want to do the same thing, you definitely can. There you go. You don't want to do a lot right there because you definitely don't want to look like you have a beard. <laughs> so you just want to kind of like, just give yourself to make it seem like it's a good shadow. So you just want to just kind of like, give yourself a little color down there, making sure you take away that part of your face and make sure you blend that downward as well. So now we're just gonna contour our nose. This is where it kind of gets tricky a little bit. You're just going to take a little fluffy brush, which is I'm taking the Morphe M412 brush, and I'm just going to dab that right into our contour color. I like to start from my brow, my the front of my brow, and I like to take it all the way down the sides of my nose. And kind of blend that out. a little bit goes a long way so what take all that yes exactly take all that out the front of your brow all the way down to the front of your nose to the point of your nose a straight line down there you go and then the other side exactly see how she didn't go back into the contour color she kind of just used whatever the remainder of it is on her brush because she liked the fact that it's not as harsh and if she wants to build up that color, she definitely can go back into that contour shade and put some more onto that side where she didn't add enough. We are going to move on to our eyebrows. NYX Micro Brow Pencil. She's gonna do her brows off camera as well and we're gonna go right into our eyeshadows and we'll be right Back, you guys now that we did our brows we are going to start on to our eye makeup which is the fun part you guys well for me at least I love doing my eyes okay so we're just gonna use the covergirl um, eye enhancers in fard accent so we're just gonna both use two fluffy blending brushes we're just gonna go into this little like brownish rusty color we're just gonna go put our brush on the corner of our eye and work that right into our crease and you see how that is already mm -hmm. see that color in the corner on the corner and then work that right into that crease. Go back and forth like window wiping motions. You see the color? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, right? Okay, so you think you're finished blending? Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. It looks good. Thank you. It looks good, there you go. First know. time. Right? Now you're just gonna take the same brush and the same color and we're just gonna go all the way down our bottom lower lash line. If you have fallout, just get yourself a regular clean brush and then just flicker that out. See how you have fallout? Yeah. Just flicker that out. That's why we put a lot of powder down there because when you put a lot of the powder, it just catches the it catches all of the eyeshadow. So you can it's easier for you just to wipe everything off. And this is going to be a Morphe MB18 brush. And I'm just gonna take a MAC one to one fluffy blending brush and we're just going to place that literally right on the corners of our eyes and that's it and just kind of blend that out go to the corner to the middle of our eye 
remember keeping that dark color right into that crease don't adding too much and like I said if you if you feel like you messed up just go back with that same brush and that first color and just blend everything out like she just did because you just um, that kind of helped you out right mm -hmm. going back with that same brush and just blending everything out so we're gonna take the second brush and that dark color and we're just going to do the same thing right underneath our lower lash line and keeping that right in just on the corners of it like from the corner to the middle of the eye and just keep it right there you can close your eyes doing this and the glitter that we're going to use is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and she is going to use the color Burnished Bling and I'm going to use the color Desert Dazzle. We're going to take that color base first and we are going to place that right on our lid. See how that is? I'm a little nervous. You see? You see how that yeah. came out? Okay. So we're just gonna take the glitter side and we're gonna place that right on top of that um, color base that we just placed down. Remember to get right into that corner of that eye as well. So we're just gonna take this white wet and wild eye coal pencil and we're gonna place that right on our waterline. Are you okay with the waterline? Uh, I can try. Okay, okay, so we're just gonna place that on the corner of our eye to the middle of our eye. Now that we're done doing that, we are going to take our mascara and the mascara that we're gonna use is the new um, Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Oh, I love it, I love the feeling of it. Mascara? Yep, oh, favorite thing in the world. I can't do. Okay, so now that we're finishing off this whole eye look, we're going to put on some lashes and the lashes we are going to use are the, well, she's using the Demi Wispies, which are the little sister, hence the little sister. Um, and I'm going to use the Wispy lashes from Ardell Lashes. These are my favorite lashes because they're so wispy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they just look so natural and so nice on my eye shape. There we go. Okay. You did it! Yeah. You did it! Good job! Yeah. You did that! Okay, so now let's go on to our highlighting, which is to me my best part of doing the makeup, and the highlighter that we're gonna use, which I've heard many great things about, which I haven't used this at all neither. This is a Precious Metals Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild. My favorite highlighting brush is the Morphe M501 brush, and we're just gonna, oh, it's so pretty too, you guys. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, that's pretty. That is. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh. <laughs> you literally want them to see you from across the room. So if you're like at prom and you just sit in there and you walk in, you want your highlight to come before you do. <laughs> you see? You see? It's, it's really gorgeous. Nice. Putting some right on our cupid's bow. I like to use a lot. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. And then I like to take some on our on our finger and place that right ooh, see place that right on the tip of our nose and then go down the bridge of our nose with it it just makes our nose look slimmer <laughs> and prettier and nicer and then if you really want to go there <laughs> just put some right on that put some right there and then you guys can just put some right there on the inner corner. <laughs> yeah, see, you want them to hate you. <laughs> you see? Yeah. 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 Okay, so the blush that we're gonna use today is um, a Milani blush, and it is a baked blush in the color Dolce Pink and a Real Technique blush brush. Also, we're just gonna place that on the apples of our cheeks to kind of blend that contour and that um, highlight that we put. So no harsh lines, and we're just gonna blend that all the way up. Apples of our cheeks, and then just blend it out. Blend it up and out. 
So now onto our lips. We're gonna finish this look off with using the CoverGirl Lip Perfection in the color Smoky Intense. Good job. Both of us are gonna take this CoverGirls 245 Honey Bloom. Um, <laughs> oh, this is really bright for me. Let me see. Really bright. It's pretty. It is? Okay, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look right here. I hope you guys love this makeup look that we did on my little sister and I did on myself. And honestly, I'm just so happy how this came out because she looks stunning. You really look great. Me and too. I'm so proud of her that she did a wonderful job doing her first ever glam makeup full on her. Makeup. Full makeup on herself. And um, wow, I'm just so proud that she's graduating and she's actually graduating high school that's so crazy to me my little sister i'm about to tear up you guys <laughs> tear up. but um other than that if you guys want to know exactly what we used everything's going to be listed in the description box below so make sure you guys go check that out and like i said the wonderful thing about this tutorial is that you guys get to see anyone can do this makeup for their first time ever because clearly she did it herself her first time and look how gorgeous she came out <laughs> and um you guys definitely don't need to hire a makeup artist or spend a whole lot of money on these products because they are all from the drugstore literally you guys can run out to your local cvs your walgreens your rite aid your duane reed or any type of local drugstore and pick up all these products and you guys can definitely use them and look sickening fierce and fabulous like this so yes other than that thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button right there right in the corner and give this video a thumbs up because i would so appreciate it and obviously leave comments and tell us exactly how we did and how gorgeous my little sister came out <laughs> and yeah other than that thank you guys so much for watching i totally appreciate it and until the next one you guys Mwah.